Hey, what's up guys? So these are my Venus fly traps. Uh, one of the top questions I get when people visit my house is that, are these gonna bite my fingers? I have, you know what? I've never tried it. Um, so let's give it a try today to answer this question once and for all. And afterwards, uh, I can talk a little bit more about um, the Venus fly traps. So here's my finger. Let's go for this one, the biggest trap. All right. Just kidding. <laughs> so you kind of close up around my finger. Um, there's definitely a slight pressure, but it does not hurt. It's not like the teeth cut into me or anything like that. It's kind of a little, it's actually stronger than expected. Um, and it's applying a little pressure to my finger. And the pressure seems to be the hardest around the edges, which makes sense since it's like a cup shape. Let me try it. Uh, huh. So it pulls out pretty easily. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, well, so that answers my question. Um, like, yes, it bites a finger, but it does not hurt at all. It's just a little pressure. So if you're sticking around, let's talk a little bit about these Venus fly traps that I got. So these traps, compared to fing my finger, it's actually a um, respectable size. Not that I have small tiny finger or anything like that. Um, I guess it doesn't help since you don't know standard size of my finger here. Here's a here's a, a small knife, paring knife. What other household object I have around here? I don't know, I just gotta imagine. Just imagine, imagine it to be huge. Um, okay, so anyways, um, the Venus fire trap I got is, uh, is called a DCXL. Um, they are supposedly one of the larger fly traps at the moment, even bigger than the famous B-52. Um, as, and as you can see, there seems to be two sizes trap. One is the slightly smaller one up here versus like the much bigger one around the edges. What happened is that I have these fly trap for about two and a half years now. Um, when they first came, uh, these were actually the larger traps. Uh, with like even smaller ones before uh, so I planted them and over the winter they actually died back till there are only like two or three really small traps and I thought okay it's a goner but let's wait and see what happens but I guess like what happened was I actually went to dormancy um, during the winter so it, it was like conserving energy and laying low um, when it came to I think like last fall it really started blooming again and that's when I started getting these like really big traps and who knows, I feel like maybe in the future I'll get even bigger ones. And I like the fact that um, the mouth of the trap is slight red. But anyway, so these are the DCXL, which is, as long as I know, still one of the bigger fly traps out there. Now, uh, the reason the fly trap close, closes, obviously, is to capture uh, insects, right? And if you can see here, you'll see there's some really fine hair. So those are the trigger for the trap. What happens is that when an insect walk on a fly trap and touches one or two of these little hair, it will wait about like a couple seconds. If they trigger the hair again, then the trap will close. This is to prevent like accidental closure where something just brush against the hair once and then it closes. Um, so again, insect touch a, touch a hair. And then in, if in a couple seconds it touches hair again, then the trap will close. Now, we don't want to do the, the finger test that I did too often because each fly trap has a limited amount of energy to expense in closing the trap. Um, so after three or four closures of this trap, um, all the energy expended from that trap and that trap will just kind of turn yellow, brown, and then dies until another new trap comes out. So it actually takes a lot of energy for each trap to close. That's why when people ask me, usually I try not to demonstrate. Um, but now that spring is here in Maryland, um, I started seeing, seeing insects crawling all over the place. I may start going out and start catching insects and feeding trap. I'll just leave the track out, trap out during the day to see what you can catch. And usually around this area, they'll catch um, daddy, daddy long legs, which is kind of anxiety for the long legs sticking out. Uh, another common question is that, can a Venus fly trap eat a stink bug? And before I got this plant, I have B-52, and I guess I didn't do too good of a job taking care of it because the trap was never too big. It was about the smaller size of this trap, uh, this Venus fly trap, which is like about this size. 
and it was able to hold in a stink bug, which I was kind of surprised. I thought the stink bug was just gonna plow its way out, but it was strong enough to hold it in. So I have no doubt in my mind that these guys right here will definitely be able to stay, um, eat stink bug. So just a quick little video showing uh, my finger getting eaten by the Venus flytrap. And I'll talk to you guys later.